All right, so I've uh, I've never had apple tea before. This ought to be interesting. <laughs> First impression. That's pretty good. Ooh. That's pretty good. Hey, what I'm going to do is, uh, throughout the day, uh, I'm going to drink on this as I go down the road. And uh, when I'm done with it, I'll finish filming this video, and I will give you my impressions. So, uh, yeah, initial, initial taste, it's pretty good stuff. I'll let you know when I get done to the end. Okay, so I finished the bottle, and uh, before I give you my final opinion on this, I want to take a moment to uh, share some information with you, uh, nutrition facts, uh, things like that. So, all right, so here's the label. Uh, I'll move slowly so you can read everything. And you can, you know, pause it if you like and get a uh, better look at everything. So, I went on their website. Uh, just doing a little bit of research, you know, uh, not that much really, but in their About Us page, tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the company. Uh, Gallagher's Dairy was started in 1914 by Louis Gallagher when he came to America from Switzerland. Uh, in Switzerland, the Gallagher family had been big in the dairy industry. And uh, he bought an ice cream company and named it, renamed it the Gallagher Ice Cream Company. So uh, that's basically how they got their start. So they've been around for a little over 100 years now. Uh, I didn't see much about how really big they are. I will say this. It did, it did concentrate on Pennsylvania a lot. So they are based in Pennsylvania. They do serve quite a bit of Pennsylvania with their products. Um, dairy products, milk, ice cream, iced teas, things like that. Now I found this at a little gas station off of I-76... Uh, I stopped there just to, you know, grab something to drink real quick, grab a bite to eat. It was, uh, early in the morning time, and I saw this. I was looking over at the different drinks, and I love tea. I'll drink any kind of tea. And usually out here on the road, we're limited to raspberry iced tea or peach tea or green tea. And don't get me wrong, I love green tea, and I love peach tea and raspberry tea. But, uh, I saw spiced apple tea. I said, well, this is different. I've never seen this before. Let's give it a shot. It was only like uh, $2.39, I think. Something like that. It wasn't expensive at all. So I said, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pick up a jug, drink it going down the road. Now, as you saw, my initial impressions were just, I mean, stuff was wonderful. Loved it. And I have to say, after having drank the whole thing, if you get a chance, get some. If you like apples at all, you will love this tea. have no idea where to find it outside of Pennsylvania. And, uh, tell you what, give me just a second, and I'm going to go look on the website and see if you can actually order it and have it delivered to you outside of Pennsylvania. Give me just a second. Unfortunately, I didn't see a provision to where you could order their products outside of Pennsylvania or anywhere for that matter. Um, it has a, a place on there where you can see what stores offer their products, what stores they deliver to, and uh, it's only about a dozen or so stores um, in and around Johnstown. Uh, Johnstown, uh, it looks like to be about two-thirds of the way between Pittsburgh and I-99. Um, but I'll tell you right now, if you live in that area or if you're passing through that area, by all means, please, please get some of this stuff. If you like apples, if you like iced tea, you'll want some of this. This is the label. You want some. <laughs> uh, 
it's not often I'll recommend a product as highly as this. But uh, I wouldn't even recommend any other product I've reviewed and given a good review to. I wouldn't recommend it as highly as I, as I recommend this. So that is my review of Gallagher's Spiced Apple Sweet Tea or Spiced Apple Iced Tea. It's some good stuff. It's really, really good. Like I said, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, if you happen to come across a place that has it and you've got an onboard refrigerator or something like that, buy several jugs of it at store and bring it home with you. It's some good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Again, I you can't find it outside of Pennsylvania and in that small area of Pennsylvania, about somewhere east of Pittsburgh. Uh, you're, you're not going to find it, uh, according to their maps. Uh, if you find it somewhere else, let me know, because I would really love to have some more of it. And it's really not all that often I pass through that area. So, uh, like I said, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you can, get some. I'm not going to say take a special trip to that area to get it, but if you are passing through that area, stop and get some. Go to their website, find out where they have it, and get you a few jugs of it if you can. Uh, it's pasteurized, so you have to keep it refrigerated, but it is some good stuff. I mean, just, again, I give it my personal seal of approval. Not that that means much to anybody, but hey, it is what it is. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope you get a chance to try this product out. Uh, if you like what you see, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, it's free to subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you blog. I do mostly, on this channel, I do mostly uh, shorts, uh, YouTube shorts. Uh, I do not do uh, TikTok for various reasons, but I do do YouTube shorts. Mostly YouTube shorts, mostly about the trucking industry, although I am branching out and I'm going to start doing some other things soon. Until next time, God bless and be good.